This has a whole new glass design, which they call liquid glass. Um, and we're gonna have a dive in. So this is the wallpaper that I'm assuming will ship when it's released. And like I said, this is the first beta of iPadOS 26. So this is version 23A5260N. The N means that it's basically far from the final release. Um, usually it goes down the letters and then you'll get to A and then you'll get the RC, which is the release candidate and it's released to the public. So we've got a long way to go. There's probably gonna be a lot of bugs in here. Um, there are a lot of elements within this as well. So for example, holding down on here, you've got this glassy kind of toggle and then it goes back to normal, which is pretty cool. Um, and then here's the home screen for iPadOS. Uh, they do also have the glassy or clear option here. So if I go clear and you've got this clear UI, I like it, it's okay. It doesn't look as glassy really when I look at it like this. I know it's got the glassy elements here and when you move the iPad, you might be able to see some kind of movement in it. It's not perfect obviously because it is a first beta. So those animation elements will change over time but it's all right. I find it quite hard to read. It's not massively legible um, compared to when it's full color, um, but let's see how it changes throughout the betas. One of the really interesting things is that they've actually released a phone app for the iPad now. So obviously I'm not gonna show the details on here because I've just got like personal contacts and all that stuff, but it's really interesting that, you know, at, up here you've got all your kind of most, uh, common contacts or your favorites and then you've got kind of all the other numbers missed calls or blah blah, blah. Oh, so many missed calls on here um yeah and then up here you've got a keypad so you can actually make you can dial from your ipad that is part of apple's continuity feature which essentially allows you to use things cross device uh where essentially it's the thing that gets you locked into the apple ecosystem or one of the many things that apple does to get you locked into the ecosystem so there's a phone app on here. They've also added the journal app as well, where you can post your you know, private journals about things that you want to write about um, and put in how you feel in that particular moment. And then finally, there's the new games app where it shows some of the games that you've been playing. You've got the arcade, Apple Arcade in there as well. Uh, with a whole bunch of the Apple Arcade games. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you do actually use Apple Arcade, uh, play together so you can play with other people and invite friends and so on. So that's the new um, games app. One of the really, really cool features, and this is the one that my, both myself and a lot of people have been waiting for, is the new windowing feature. So you just need to grab this side toggle here and you just move in. And then you'll notice you have some buttons up here, similar to what you have on Mac OS. You've got your close button, you've got your minimize, and then you've got your go back to full screen uh, button. But on top of that, if you also hold the, this button, you can also choose if you wanna move it to the left, the right, top, bottom. You can also fill the screen so it's full screen like an iPad. Uh, you can have it separated in um, three or four. So let's try that now. Um, let's open up, let's say the music app. And then I'll also open up the news app and YouTube. Uh, let's go to a channel that I personally like quite a lot, this one. So if I hold on this option here and put four, this will then move it into those four different windows. You can also overlay windows on top of this as well though. So if I wanna say, for example, open Disney Plus on here, then I can and now I've got Disney Plus open. I don't know how many total apps I can open on here. I've not really tried to max it out, but it's pretty cool that this is finally out. Um, the other thing as well is that when you hold down on this windowing feature, you, you still got Stage Manager as an option here, but I've not really used Stage Manager, Manager that much. So personally, I think I'm just gonna keep it with the windowing feature, with the window feature. On top of that, using it with a Magic Keyboard gives you the option of having a mouse. So I'm gonna attach this 
and now you see there's a mouse and it actually looks like a proper mouse like you would see on the Mac. Um, I haven't tried Mac OS 26 yet, so I don't know if they use, I doubt they use the same mouse, but it'd be cool if they could actually change that up. One of the other really cool features is now when you hover your mouse over at the top here, you get files, edit, view, your history, bookmarks, window. So you've got all of these options now, which is so cool. And I'm so glad they've finally done this. It's, it's like that combination of Mac and Windows is finally here. And I'm, I'm all for it. I'm, I am super, super excited for it. Yeah, so I really, really like this. It's really cool. There's so many little subtle elements like you know, when you move this down, that windowing glassy kind of effect that you get on here, I just, I just love it. I think it's so, so cool. Um, I could play with that all day. One of the other really nice things that I like here is the new spatial feature in Photos. So if we go to Photos app here, you'll see this button here and you just tap it, it will scan the image and then basically turns it into a 3D image, which looks so, so cool. It doesn't work on all images, so I have tried it on some animated ones. So for example, this one here, uh, and you can see it doesn't work as well. But then when I've tried it on, say this one, it works very well. Um, so it's not perfect, uh, you know, it's hit or miss. It's very good when you've got like a foreground kind of and background kind of image. So something like this and then However, I have found that when you add it to a wallpaper, once it's generated the image, it does sometimes blur the top a bit. So it does, it's not always perfect, um, but it does a good job. So that's the first look at the iPad OS 26 beta one uh, with Apple's liquid glass UI. Uh, let me know what you think of the UI elements as well and the new features that Apple's added. What would you have liked to have seen? I personally really like the windowing feature to actually be able to use this like a Mac or like a computer. It really is a truly versatile device now um, with that added. And give me a like if you liked the video, subs if you loved it, and see you next time.